So next week, I've got a webinar titled Busting Myths About Predatory Aggression. And I put it together because I was writing, I was doing an assignment for my MSc course and it occurred to me after I'd done the assignment that there was quite a lot that I'd uncovered when looking at the scientific research that wasn't aligned with what I've learned um, from dog trainers and in the dog training world and I wanted to share that information with as many people as possible. So I put this webinar together. Now this is a paid one. This one will cost £10 to buy. It, it will, you will get to keep a copy of it for as long as you want. And perhaps you're thinking, why on earth would I pay £10 to listen to this woman chat to me about predatory aggression, which is more commonly called predatory behaviour in dogs. Why on earth would, what would that get for me? Well, let me explain. So apart from, it's a really interesting subject, the vast, vast majority of dogs will display some kind of predatory behaviour and knowing about it will help you to understand your own dog better, which is always a nice thing to be able to do. The other takeaways that I am going to give in this webinar, which are, in my opinion, much more important than just the interesting knowledge, that's good in itself, but the takeaways are much more, much, much more interesting and, and useful for you. So the, the takeaways that I'm going to give you are ways to help keep your dog safe. So there's a lack of safety at, at both ends of this. Some dogs are more likely to fall victim of predatory behaviour from other dogs when they're out and about. And I will talk to you about how to prevent that happening to your dog, because it can be dangerous in some situations, but and just very unpleasant. You could end up with a bit of a reactive dog if if your dog had the wrong experience. So, so there's that side of it. And, and for the people who've got dogs who do engage in predatory behaviour, safety is a huge, huge concern to you for a, for a range of reasons. I mean, there are legal implications. I don't know about you, but on the local dog walking sites that I'm part of on Facebook, I, I keep on seeing people posting links from the police who are searching out people who've had dogs that have killed deer. Um, and I, I read an article recently about, a, 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 I think an Irish setter it was, who killed a deer in Windsor Park, I think, and the police were hunting for the owner. So there can be really strong legal implications. Similarly, with not just deer livestock as well it can really get you into trouble with the police if your dog um, displays predatory behavior but there's more than that and i spoke to somebody just this week who uh, told me he'd been forced to rehome a dog because the dog who was a cocker spaniel had been persistently chasing neighbor's cat and eventually relations with the neighbours had become so strained and so difficult that the family were forced to rehome their dog, which is a, an absolutely awful situation to be in. So I want to talk about how to keep your dog and yourself safe from the consequences of their, of their predatory behaviour. So I do hope that you will click the link and join me for this webinar.